Hey, nerds, Farmer Jesse here. Welcome back to another season of the No-Till Market Garden Podcast. Season six, to be exact. I just wanted to say a little hello, a quick intro before we kick off another round of awesome interviews for you this winter. First, I am super excited and frankly honored to have Natalie, Mimi, and Alex back for another season of hosting interviews. I loved what they were able to dig up last year and just the different ideas and interests that they have. As I look through the topics and guest lists, there will be conversations with all different types of growers. We'll tackle some pressing topics like those Asian jumping worms. We'll maybe visit with folks from a few states or regions that we have not yet. A couple well-known names will rejoin us as well. All very cool stuff coming your way. You will also hear from me a little bit more this season as well. Um, So make sure you are subscribed and listening along. We had a good season on our farm, relatively speaking, here in 2023. It was slightly milder in comparison to last year when July started in like May and then just didn't really go away until roughly September. This year was nice uh, with good moisture to start and reasonable temperatures through most of the season. Production was solid, even having pulled back 100% on purchased compost. Um, In fact, I'm preparing a video that talks about going two years without purchasing in any compost and what I learned in that time, trying to get creative with fertility and cover crops and making our own compost by hand. Uh, It was a bit of a mixed bag, if I'm being honest. Um, So, but anyway, if you're curious about that and how that went, make sure you are subscribed to the old YouTube channel uh, for when that video comes out. Speaking of cover crops, we were very dry the end of this season, and it's really challenged me to think more about irrigation and cover crop establishment, especially when it comes to winter kill cover crops, because if they don't grow well or germinate well, they either one, will not die over the winter, which is fun to deal with in the spring, or two, they will just be extremely spotty. Moreover, perhaps nothing affects yield quite like a drought. Um, In extremely drier times, we see our lettuce yields plunge by half, Meaning on a bed where we'd usually harvest, I don't know, 75 pounds, we're harvesting 30 to 40 pounds. Um, Same volume, just no weight to it. Uh, But luckily the rain has returned just in time for the season to wrap up, which is cool. We are growing a little further into the winter this year and have even beefed up our cat tunnels to manage the intense winds we've been getting these last few years. Um, This February, we had multiple days where gusts reached over 70 miles per hour. Um, that's roughly a category one hurricane. Anyway, those events crushed one of our tunnels this spring and honestly, my spirits a little bit. So Rimmel helped me with ground posts and trusses and wind bracing and a center purlin and such to really secure them. Uh, my employee Greg and I are skinning those today to get ahead of the low twenties that are coming next week. Um, that's Fahrenheit, but very cold. So that'll hit us next week, and hopefully we will have those uh, tunnels done by then. It will be nearly 80 degrees today, October 26th. I think that just illustrates what a completely normal job that farming is. Yeah, so I've also been coaching my both of my kids' soccer teams, and our soccer season and market seasons are both wrapping up this weekend. That doesn't have any relevance to anything podcast-related, except that I love soccer, and I've loved coaching as an alternate thing for my brain to do from farming. Uh, I've always found that if I don't have interests outside of my work, it's hard to be good at my job. Focusing all of my mental and physical capacity on farming or whatever job that I was doing at the time has always kind of led me to burnout. I need outlets and hobbies and things for my brain to do that aren't just farming and talking about farming. Having those alternate interests, usually sports related for me, keeps my enthusiasm high and gives me some different perspectives on my work. Like being a coach and on the board of my local rec soccer league has been a great way for me to meet people in the community and get to know my community a lot better than just being on my farm all day, every day. I also just absolutely love being around the kids and not just my own kids. I mean, all the kids. Sometimes you get a kid on the roster who doesn't have a lot of support. And so it's likewise feels good to be a positive force in their lives. Uh, Like I often say, there is no such thing as self-sufficiency. There is community sufficiency and insufficiency. And so I've got the growing food thing down. Um, It's growing that community part that soccer has kind of helped me with. And that feels great. Anyway, that's your impromptu meandering farm report for the year. Back to podcast stuff. You have probably noticed that all of our no-till grower shows are popping up on this feed now. 
and that we've changed the name to the No-Till Growers Network. The whole idea being that if you're anything like us, you find literally any aspect of farming from compost production to seed growing to winter growing and beyond to be fascinating, if not downright helpful. So we just wanted a central feed for all of that to be collected. And the No-Till Market Garden podcast is the exclusive content that comes along with subscribing to it. One quick request before I let you go, we've got a survey in the show notes that we'd love for you to fill out so we can do our best to know what kind of farming slash gardening slash business questions that you have. Anyway, I don't want to blabber on too much. I just wanted to welcome everyone back and thank you all so much for all the support over the last five years as we continue to build this thing. I know it's been five years because the kiddo who was born the month before the first No-Till Market Garden podcast was released just turned five. That's probably not relevant at all to you, but it kind of blows my mind. Anyway, speaking of blowing minds, season six begins next Monday. We'll see you all there. (laughs) 